teenager to becoming the face of a youth movement, Greta Thunberg has led global climate change protests, met world leaders and even received a Nobel Peace Prize nomination. Today, she will visit the European Parliament to discuss future laws and environmental targets, but is the 17-year-old inspiring millions or causing unnecessary alarm amongst young people? Well, we can speak to the UK's very own Greta Thunberg because 17-year-old uh, Amy Bray is a climate change activist from Cumbria who is getting great acclaim for saying young people should be very worried about their future. Joining us live from Germany is 19-year-old Naomi Seipt, who has been described as the anti-Greta. So, very good morning to you both. Um, Amy Bray, a lot of teenagers have been out on these climate change protests. There's a massive school strike, causes a lot of disruption. But at the same time, a large number of them very anxious about what is happening to the world and their futures. Is what's happening a positive thing or do you yourself have some concerns about it? So I founded my charity Another Way because I believe that that there is no more time to act on a climate emergency. The IPCC report has declared we have 10 years left to act before climate breakdown. And so I believe that now is the time for young people to be empowered to both change their own lives and then influence those around them to do the same. So I think it's really positive that young people are starting to care more about our, our environment and our future and are campaigning for a better future for us all. But I also think that it's really important to think about our own lives and our own behaviour and how they can actually contribute to solving climate change and indeed the ecological crisis as well. So I think it's really important that we act in communities of change and that we empower each other to raise the issue of climate change and to then act on that. OK, so let me just put you through a little, little test then. Um, do you watch TV? I do watch TV, yes. Uh, do you have laptops, computers, mobile phone? I do, yes. Do you, do you go on planes, foreign holidays, travel? No, we don't. So we've given up flying as a family and we've also made huge changes to our lifestyle. But really it's about everyone doing their own bit and doing as much as they possibly can. So we've dramatically reduced the way we um, live as a family. We don't buy single-use plastic. We've changed our diet. We only buy local and seasonal food. We go to independent shops and we buy less stuff as well. Okay. We also inspire those around us to yeah, do all, everything okay, they possibly all, can. Listen, it's very laudable. And actually, I, I think it's, it's more than laudable. She's taking actual yeah, she's taking some tangible action, action, some, action, some action. to yeah. not flying, seasonal food, sustainable it's living. You're, do, you're doing a little bit and it will help a little bit. Here's my issue with, with Greta, who I think actually is very impressive in many ways uh, and clearly very influential and inspiring. But she does catastrophize everything all the time. Adults are terrible. It's all down to young people to save the world, etc., etc. She still says no one's talking about this, when in fact it's all we've been talking about, really, for the last year and a half since she began her campaign. So she's raised awareness, but in terms of actually getting stuff done, what I don't see is Greta going to China or India, who are two of the biggest polluters. Why is she not going where the real problem is? So I think it's the equal responsibility of every person on this planet to do what they possibly can to contribute to, to solving our climate crisis. And I think that's the responsibility of anyone, no matter our age or our gender or our faith or our ethnicity. And I think that it's really important to put what we're trying to say into action. I think it's important to change the way we live, to change the way our communities live, to inspire our schools to change and our workplaces. And I think that... It's, it doesn't help to put blame on other people or on other countries. We can inspire them to change too through our own actions, but we also have to look at the way we live our lives. So um, I'm okay. creating an ambassador programme at the moment that will inspire young people to change. OK, let's bring in Naomi. Uh, Naomi, you've been shaking your head through some of that. So what's your problem with what you've just been listening to and indeed with Greta Thunberg and her message? Well, listen, I think it's fantastic when young people decide to uh, become activists and protest for something that they are truly passionate about and that they can truly stand behind and believe in. But the main problem that I see is that most of them 
have not really done their research. So I became interested in climate change um, because I wanted to get to know the science behind climate change and what's really going on and uh, what effect do CO2 emissions actually have on the atmosphere. And after a while, I came to the conclusion that, in fact, uh, most of the uh, claims by the, made by the IPCC uh, are not really uh, based on scientific research at all, but just on some kinds of climate models uh, that cannot actually... So let me ask depict. you, OK, let yeah, me ask you, good. let me ask you, do you believe the planet is heating up at a dangerous rate? No, I do not believe that. But that, but that uh, is a clear, I, if you don't mind okay. me saying, that is a clear, demonstrable fact supported by 2,000 of the world's leading scientists. And with all due respect to you, I get that you want to have the publicity of being the anti-Greta and so on, but that is a fact that can't be disputed by anybody who should be taken seriously in this debate. It's just a fact. The planet is heating up. The point is, yes, there may be some amount of global warming, but the question that we must ask is... Well, you is... just said there wasn't. Which one is no, it? No, well... I'm saying, no, you asked me, is there a catastrophic amount of global warming? No, I, no, I, I just said, do you believe that the planet's heating up? And you said no. Now you say there is some global warming. Which one is it? <laughs> yes, there might be some global warming, but I believe it's just a natural phenomenon. You don't Sometimes believe that humans contribute to it or cause it? Exactly. That's the point. And I believe that it's not CO2 emissions that are dri the driving cause for any sort of climate change. So you don't think that any human behaviour whatsoever, even though we've become just the most consumptive planet CO2 in terms emitting. of populace in the history of planet Earth, you don't believe any of that makes any difference? Any of the oil and gases we're pumping out all day long, billions of people, none of that makes any difference to, to, the, to, the, uh, to the planet heating itself? No, of course we must be more. We must be more precise about this. And uh, I, I can totally see that uh, there can be a very slight. Uh, we can be a very slight contributing factor to uh, some amount of global warming. But I think it really is extremely overstated by the IPCC, and that if at all um, the CO2 emissions, man-made CO2 emissions, are having just a very tiny effect 